scary extinct animals that actually existed. Every day we hear scientists say that many animals are going extinct and that we need to save them. Same thing happened years ago when there were thousands of animals that are extinct today. But we're kind of glad those animals are no longer around because they were a living nightmare. These dangerous animals were not a myth, but they actually existed on the face of the earth. Here's how we know about them. But wait, make sure you hit the subscribe button first, and while you're at it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Number 1. Arthroplora Dating back from the Carboniferous period, 320 to 299 million years ago, Arthroplora was the largest centipede-like arthropod. In fact, the largest land invertebrate to have lived on the earth. It's truly fascinating to see that this giant millipede could grow as much as 1 to 8.5 feet in length, which is something around the length of a car. It also had a thick, tough, and hard armor plating around it. One of the reasons for their massive size was the moist, oxygen-rich atmosphere of the Carboniferous period, which meant approximately 50% higher oxygen concentration than now, which made respiration easy for insects, allowing them to grow huge. It's difficult to tell which is worse, their menacing and gory appearance or their venomous bites, which can literally send shivers down your spine. But did you know it meant no harm to the human race? That's right. Research says that Arthroplora were omivores or possibly herbivores. They mostly ate plants or small insects around them. Arthroplora consisted of 30 armored plates, each having a separate pair of legs under them. Nonetheless, it wasn't invincible. In fact, their own environment could be their biggest enemy, as sharp rocks could easily impale them, or the ever-so-catastrophic Carboniferous storms often defeated them. Number 2. Meganora Just imagine those scary little dragonflies came to life, but 10 times as large as they are now. That's right, Meganora was the largest flying insect species to have ever existed in the world. They also dated back to the Carboniferous period. Their fossils were first discovered in 1880 in France. Their enormity and flying ability made them one of the most horrendous-looking creatures, with their stunning wingspan of over 75 centimeters. The way they conquered the skies, it was only fair to call them Queen of the Carnivorous Skies. They existed in countless numbers, but mostly dominated present-day America and Britain. Although known as an insect predator and not aggressive in nature, Meganora wouldn't turn down a free meal and could devour any human in sight if provoked. Number 3. Danasuchus Danasuchus, also known as terrible crocodiles, have undoubtedly lived up to their names. These were about four times the size of current-day crocodiles, about 35 feet long, and were found in the areas of North America, making them one of the largest carnivores of the time. It's said that Dinosuchus had an ongoing rivalry with the king of dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex, as their teeth marks are seen in the fossils of the infamous T. rex. They are definitely not ones to mess with. This ancient behemoth weighed up to seven tons, almost as much as a full-grown elephant. Dinosuchus were ferocious predators with snapping jaws as they made snacks out of the duckbills and horned dinosaurs that slogged near prehistoric marshes. They lived around 145 million years ago to 2.6 million years ago during the Barassian and Piacesian periods. Although scientists for the longest time believed that Dinosuchus consisted of one species, a new study reveals that there are actually two distinct species. Dinosuchus has remained one of the most fascinating and captivating topics for researchers in the field ever since their fossils were discovered. Number 4. Spinosaurus Named after a German paleontologist, Ernst Stormer, Spinosaurus is known for its incomplete fossils found in North Africa. The animal itself dates back roughly 100 million years, and it's known for its snail-like spine. For several decades, it was known only for Stormer's monographic descriptions. However, additional fragmented remains were discovered, revealing that it's the first known swimming dinosaur, being known as one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs, bigger and heavier than the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus had a crocodile-like skull roughly six feet long with straight conical-shaped teeth. With luck, it has been said that Spinosaurus's main diet was fish, upon discovery of remnants of scales and fish bones in its stomach. Spinosaurus towered over other animals, standing over 46 feet tall and weighing between 13 to 22 tons. Number 5. Forus Rochidae Dubbed as terror birds, these creatures quite literally displayed a visual of nightmares when we look back at how scientists describe its anatomy and strength. Imagine a creature that can crush skulls like melons with just its beak, 
And when you consider the strong, big claws attached to it, chasing their prey sounds like the least of their concerns. Around 2 million years ago, they were found in North and South America. Growing up to be 10 feet tall wouldn't be an exaggeration. It's said that they could have eaten two to three humans as a light snack before dinner if they were to coexist. These flightless birds have a beak which I like to call snapper of doom, being a very sturdy, rigid structure that there's no way you can compare it to a normal bird bite at your local pet store. Even with that, you have chances of getting away with one less finger. We're talking about 10-foot prehistoric giant bird here. Claws suggest similar features as an eagle, and we all know how eagles are famous for their claw strength. The bird itself doesn't display any sign of docility, and we're glad that these terror birds are creatures of the past. Number 6. Gigantopithecus Here we have another 10-foot beast, which is not just physically terrifying, but the fact that it could be one of the smarter and more aware creatures makes it one of the freakiest, if not the freakiest creature that could be alive at any point in time. Imagine a gorilla. Now make it big. Not just big, but humanoid, more than twice the size of a human being. Scared yet? If not, some facts about gorillas should help you out with that. A gorilla in today's world can lift the weight of up to 30 humans. Yeah, you heard that right. Not just that they're able to lift 10 times their own weight. Knowing all that, you may take comfort in the fact that they're said to be herbivores. Phew. Crisis averted, am I right? So, these creatures are strongly related to the gorilla family, but being twice the size of a gorilla, and it doesn't help the fact that their existence would have been a danger to mankind, especially because we know they're capable of basic thinking, making them a real-life Bigfoot. I'll call that mystery solved. National Geographic, you can hit me up whenever you want. Number 7. Manipulator Modificopitus This one's gotta be one of the all-time worst since I can vouch for the fact that insects are one of the most phobia-inducing creatures on this planet. Cockroaches are usually a sight of disgust, but when it's a roach that can turn its head and lock eyes with you, I bet you'd be as fear-struck as I am just thinking about it. And just when you thought they can't be too harmful since they're not this ginormous creature of the prehistoric era, it's known that their anatomical abilities provided them with long legs to specifically chase its prey. They could be right in front of you and the next second landing on your arm like it's free real estate. Now, I know it may seem like an exaggeration, but think about it. A cockroach with modified anatomy that can stare into your terrified eyes with its soulless gaze. It's creepy insect legs and nothing but the bloodlust for your loved ones and them infiltrating your house. It just it gives me the chills. You will not even see it coming because it's known to be a night hunter. Good luck sleeping while knowing that. Kind of makes one think. Nature must have been really experimenting with evolution about 94 million years ago. Number 8. Monster Millipede Since we've already established that more than two legs are unnecessary, then I plead to nature just stop gifting us with these overwhelmingly numerous leg creatures. In today's era, even the tiniest bugs are enough to make one squeal. But about 340 to 280 million years ago, they yet again existed as a very large version of what you find today under a rock. I'm not talking just big. I'm talking nine feet long big. That's twice the size of a human. Good luck figuring out who's going to squash this bug, because you might need a crane for that. Something even professional exterminators would try to run away from. As the name suggests, these monster millipedes were the largest anthropods, which is not technically an insect, but resembles a mega cockroach crawling around on its thousand legs. Let's keep this one for the textbooks. Because, mind you, I'd prefer being chewed on by a prehistoric dinosaur over facing my worst fear. At least the death would be sudden and I wouldn't be screaming like a little girl who just saw a bug nearby. How embarrassing would that be if it wasn't so deadly? Number 9. Titanoboa Soon after dinosaurs' extinction from the planet about 60 million years ago, we thought the worst of the predatory beasts to have gone away. To our surprise, there existed a snake which is said to be around 50 feet long. Yeah, the prehistoric terrors didn't simply end at dinosaurs, but they extended to other animals who have now evolved to be much smaller versions of what they used to be in their glory days. Titanoboas are said to have weighed about 2,500 pounds. These huge serpents were nowhere near peaceful creatures of the past. They would kill their prey via constriction, as a normal serpent would do today. But to think about it, it's a 50-foot-long giant serpent that could easily gulp down dozens of humans with little or no difficulty, and there's not really a need to use techniques like constriction. 
Considering the creatures that were alive during the prehistoric era, it made sense that a snake this size would be on equal footing with other predators during its time. I certainly can't imagine anything being alive like that today. It makes it sound like something out of a, a horror movie. Number 10. Harpagarnius mori You may have heard of eagles swooping down and taking away rabbits and other small prey using its razor-sharp claws and strong grip. The poor prey going about its day would have no clue, and then the very next second, it's an evening meal to a very hungry eagle. Now imagine this, but an eagle large enough to fly away with children. This, my friends, is the Harpagonius mori, and it was found in the South Island of New Zealand in the year 1400. Now, that's fairly recent for an extinct giant creature of horror. It existed at a time when humans roamed around. Due to the landlocked habitat with no competition, they're said to have undergone island giganticism. This sort of overgrowth shown by the eagles can be extremely terrifying if they were to keep breeding more. Also known as hast eagles, they were said to have actually attacked children once their food source, a flightless bird called moa, was reduced in numbers by the Maori people. With this creature, you don't even have to imagine the horrors, as there are live accounts present. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of the video. Let us know in the comments below about which animal you fear the most. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.